What's going on everyone? It's been a week since a VR related news video, so it's time for another one. In this video, we'll be going over new SideQuest app, Meta Digital Pay, and VR headsets that we could see in the future, and of course, new games. If you learned anything new, all I ask is you smash the like button below and subscribe. I think that's a fair trade. Well, with that being said, let's dive in. In today's first story, we have a super good update from team over at SideQuest. SideQuest is a software you can download on your PC or Mac in order to download third-party apps or unlock additional settings for your MetaQuest 2, not traditionally available straight from the headset. SideQuest now allows you to download a version of the app straight into your MetaQuest 2 VR headset. The SideQuest app on the headset will allow you to install custom home environments, popular community-made VR ports of classic games such as the original Doom from 1993, Quake, and Half-Life series of games. A computer is still required for the first time installation through a USB cable and to install the core files for the classic PC games, but once you install the app onto the headset, you'll be able to browse through custom home environments and be able to swap it out for the current home you directly have on your headset. As the app is new, it doesn't have all of the features that the computer-based side quest will have, but this is definitely trending in the right direction, as we can hope to see additional features that will be added to the Quest 2 version of SideQuest. I'll post a video tutorial on how to install SideQuest on your MetaQuest 2 this weekend, so make sure to subscribe in order to catch the video as it gets posted. Also, if you don't already have SideQuest downloaded onto your computer, I have a tutorial on how to easily install SideQuest on your PC, so feel free to check that video out as well. In the middle of last week, our beloved CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, announced that Meta will be introducing a digital wallet for use in the Metaverse as part of its MetaPay, formerly known as Facebook Pay. As of right now, it just sounds like it's just a name change for branding purposes, but he also indicated that MetaPay will soon include a wallet for Metaverse that lets you securely manage your identity, what you own, and how you pay. With everything Meta is currently doing, this all ties into the big picture of interoperability, where various products from different companies, not just Meta, to all come together in the Metaverse. So something cool to keep in mind, there will be a new standards forum posted by the Kronos Group in July to discuss the exact topic of interoperability between companies and is already joined by companies like Microsoft, Meta, Google, Adobe, Epic Games, NVIDIA, and there's a bunch more. So I'll be following what they put out in the meeting and let you guys know what they talked about. For this next story, I just want to point out the existence of it rather than going to a full detail into what's going on because it'll be super nerdy and definitely not necessary for the video. Mark Zuckerberg showed off experimental VR devices in a short YouTube clip as well as discussing the future of VR. There will be three particular ones he discussed in the video which are codenamed Butterscotch, Stardust, and Holocake 2. Keep in mind none of these headsets are ready to be shipped as a product or even getting released to the public. These heads are just ways Meta is experimenting with VR technology to develop the best VR headset they can possibly produce. One of the headsets I do want to point out is the Holocake 2. The pancake lenses allow for a much thinner headset due to its design. And this prototype looks somewhat similar to the Project Cambria Mark Zuckerberg demoed a few weeks back, but they unfortunately blurred out the headset in the video. If you want more details on this, I'll leave a link to the article where I read about it, so you can learn much more on the topic. You already know how we always end news videos, and it's of course with game releases of For the Week. First game on the list, we have Win Reality. In this game, you get to practice, like the pros, fully immersive VR baseball and softball training system. You will be stepping into the batter's box wherever and whenever you want with unlimited game speed pitches. As I played baseball for about 10 years, I could see this definitely being a great way to improve your skills on pitch recognition, ball timing, and play discipline. It also has training drills designed by pro players and it also tracks your performance data and allows for individual coaching and training plans. Honestly, I don't know what else you can ask from a baseball lover. Next, we have Immerse. This game brings language immersion directly to you. Every week you get to participate in immersive experiences where you are exposed to your target language 
and develop real-life language skills. You can choose from three types of experiences, which are lessons, events, and conversation practice. It looks like this game will be a super good way to practice your language skills to reach fluency while making it more fun than the traditional style of learning. For the last game, we have Golf 5 E-Club Tropical Course Update. If you already enjoy Golf 5 E-Club, well, great because you get to play additional 9-hole course. And if you haven't heard about this game or you haven't played it, Golf 5 E-Club allows for a fully immersive and authentic golf experience. You can learn to improve your golf skills by taking a full swing. And this game is certified by the International E-Golf Federation, so you know it's legit. You can visit the Oculus Store on your phone or your headset to check out all the games I listed. Alright, that's it for the news. Did you guys learn something new? If you did, please leave a like below and subscribe. I would love to hear opinions on what I should cover in the later videos. I can make a video on anything VR related, so please let me know. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you again in the next week's episode.